Hello dudes, B. Junior here from B. Junior's Movie Cave on the Endurance Productions YouTube channel. Going to do another overview of not so much a collector's edition from Scream Factory's line of films on Blu-ray, but this is a recent one I got about six plus months ago, probably even longer than that. And it's kind of an unsung hammer film that not many people talk about, and nobody, to my knowledge, has said much about this release on Scream Factory's line. It is, of course, The Vampire Lovers. That's right, Mr. Lover Lover. Caution. Not for the mentally immature. If you dare, taste the deadly passion of the blood nymphs. Look at that. Look at that cover art. Now this is real cover art right here, guys. This just screams Hammer Films. Look at all those. Yeah, yeah, the blood nymphs. Yeah, the big skull up there in the corner. Not a collector's edition. No slip cover or anything like that. But it is what I would consider a special edition. I mean, you got Hammer Films here, guys, on Blu-ray. Excellent transfer. Excellent sound in the film. I really enjoyed the transfers. Really, the colors pop pretty good. It's got guest starring appearance with uh, Peter Cushing in the film, and of course uh, starring Ingrid Pitt, George Cole, Kate O'Mara, and some and others. Um, basically, Hammer films. I can understand why people don't talk about them that much, especially the newer generations of kids, because either you like them or you don't. It's kind of there's no. It's always camps divided. There's no middle ground. This is a Scream Factory release, I assure you. Um, old MGM title they acquired, I believe. So, uh, yeah. I, I, anything Hammer, I like to give it a try because I like that, uh, especially the late 60s, 70s Hammer. A lot of people say, no, 50s, 60s is better. I like the later Hammer stuff the better when gore started being popping up in them and uh, the racy atmosphere, kind of the sleazy atmosphere started getting in there. Yeah, I'm sick, man. I like that sleazy. No, I'm just kidding. I, I just like that atmosphere. It's kind of more my generation. It's what I like to watch, and I don't know, just what I'm more in tune with, if you will. But uh, The Vampire Lovers, like I say, it's not a bare-bone release by any means. Femme Fantastique, Resurrecting the Vampire Lovers. Reading of Carmilla, which is the book that it's, uh, or the script or book that it was uh, uh, based on. Commentary with director Roy Ward Baker. Interview with actress Madeline Smith. Photo gallery, theatrical trailer, and radio spots. Um, like I said, this is right at being a collector's edition. I don't know why they didn't just go the full nine. I guess they just wanted to test the waters with just doing a kind of a special edition release or didn't have enough to beef it up to that level. But yeah, I mean, in terms of special features, um, you know, all around Blu-ray, the story basically is... Uh, based around Carmilla, the vampire story. It's, it has to do with the lesbian vampire, basically, in, uh, in uh, kind of an old-timey setting, England uh, England or France. I can't remember. It's been, uh, ba uh, guys, just bear with me on this. I'm going through a family emergency type thing right now. My brain ain't working too right. But uh, it's been about at least seven or eight months since I've watched this again, since last season. And I think it was I think it was either England or France. It's it's just an old Hammer setting, and uh, I really enjoyed the storyline. Now it is you know this does have some truth to it. This little caution here, there is a ton of nudity in the film. It's not for the younger viewers probably, and it's got kind of some awkward racy stuff in it. So I could see why they put that on there, uh, if anything to to caution people truthfully or to just make people curious and sell more Blu-rays. I don't know which, but. Uh, not too much else to say, guys. Just your typical vampire fanfare. You've got the old Peter Cushing there showing up just at the right moment to slay the vampires. Not for the Im mentally immature. Give you a little shot of the inside there. There's the Blu-ray. See, this is real cover art, you know. Not. I wish I could say that every single Scream Factory release has had the best cover art. Most of them have. I mean, at least 75, 80% of them have got excellent new cover art or redone cover art. Um, on the disc or on the front, whatever. This is one of those that's got the right, they did it right. You know, they didn't just cheap out like I Come in Peace and a couple of other ones where they just kind of photoshopped in some kind of cartoonish looking thing. This looks pretty cool. I mean, look at that. She, she bit her neck, man. There's blood on the Blu-ray. No reversible cover art on this one, guys, but uh, got some foreign poster art there on the inside. I mean, I guess you could, re you know, reverse it, but uh, I don't think there's a title on the spine there. But there's some other stills from the movie, some other foreign cover art. Peter Cushing there. Got a little lineup of the uh, vampiruses there. But anyway, yeah, man, not, not necessarily a collector's edition, but definitely if you're in the Hammer films, I would say definitely pick this one up. Give it a try, you know, try it on for size. 
I think you can still get older DVDs off of Netflix and stuff like that if you want to try to test the waters first, see if it's your cup of tea. Myself, I'm silly about Hammer films of that time frame. I don't just, I mean, I'm not opposed to just getting rid of it if I don't like it, but uh, I always try to give them the benefit of the doubt. It's like George Romero or John Carpenter, even though they're older now and they don't really make the same kind of films they used to, I'm going to, if they could put a big stinky turd on the plate, I'm still going to look at it for about an hour and a half before I make my mind up if I'm not going to keep the DVD or the Blu-ray. So I would say, guys, if you're a hammer nut, get this one. If you're not, I would rent it, try to find it first, watch it on YouTube. Find somewhere you can watch it first and try it out for size first and see if it's your cup of tea before you buy the Blu-ray experience. Rock on, dudes. I'll catch you next time. Bye.